This video covers the process of building a story map in SpecMap. I already have a story map created as part of a workshop that maps out the user journey for purchasing concert tickets. This is what the story map created during the workshop looks like. The user activities at the top represent the user's journey from first discovering an artist to buying concert tickets. My aim is to replicate this story map directly in TFS using SpecMap. The items used to build up the map will correspond to TFS items, and building up the map with SpecMap will automatically structure the related TFS items. The first step is to add a new story map and give it a name. Now that we have added our first story map, we need to add user activities to our map. User activities are automatically added to the top of the story map. The first step in our user journey is to discover a new artist, so this is the first activity I am adding. You can link these user activities to features in TFS. I will deal with this in more detail in a later video. The next step is to research the artist. Other steps along the user's journey are discovering local events, making plans to attend the event, and inviting friends to come along. The final step is to purchase the tickets. Each of these steps are represented by a separate user activity arranged chronologically from left to right. Now that we have added all the user activities, we need to add a slice to the map to hold our user stories. Slices represent iterations or sprints and are used to prioritize your stories on the map, which I will also go into in more detail in the later video. You need at least one slice to be able to add user stories to the map. I'm going to call this slice MVP, which is the name of the slice on the workshop image. Now it's time to start assigning our product backlog items, or user stories, to user activities. I have already added a number of backlog items based on the results of the workshop, as you can see in the list. Note that you can also add new user stories in SpecMap, either directly on the map using the green plus icon, or from the product backlog item list. To add a story in the list to the map, locate the product backlog item and drag it to the corresponding user activities column on the story map. In this case, I want to assign the search for artist user story to the discover artist activity. The view general artist information entry belongs to the research artist story. When dragging items to the story map, the target position is indicated with a blue rectangle. A red marker indicates that placing the story here will expand the current column horizontally or the current row vertically, allowing you to place items above and below or to the left and right of existing items. This allows me to replicate the structure of the story map from the workshop. Repeat this process for the remaining user stories until the story map is complete. The story map is now starting to come together. In the next video, we will take a look at prioritizing user stories.